President Bakane, who is reported to be ill from her South America trip, responded to the ongoing political wrangling over a bribery list left by businessman Song Wan Jung. Prime Minister Yi Wan-gu was one of eight names on the memo, which led to his resignation on Monday. Our Choi yoo Sun starts us off. In a message delivered by her senior press secretary, President Park Geun-hye first talked about accepting Prime Minister Lee Wan Gu's resignation the day before. In order to minimize the administrative vacuum, I, despite having regrets, accepted the Prime Minister's resignation. I'm sorry that the latest scandal caused the public concern. Despite calls from both rival political parties, the president did not offer the nation an apology for the bribery scandal, which involves many politicians known to be close to her. While urging the prosecution to be impartial and clarifying the allegations, President Bak vowed to reform the country's political culture. By eradicating the dishonesty, irregularities, and corruption that have been passed on for over the years. I will carry out new political reforms. The president also left the door open for an independent probe, if agreed upon by the rival parties, should the prosecution's investigation fall short of clarifying all the allegations. The president added that two pardons granted to Song Wan Jung by the former No Mu Hyun administration should also be investigated. A pardon should be granted only in a special case where the country needs to save the person and when there's public consensus. She asked the political parties to set their differences aside, agree on pending public employee pension reforms, and pass bills expected to help create jobs for the country's young people. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News.